This is Bumper to Bumper TV. While it hasn't changed radically over the years, somehow the Lincoln Navigator still gets some respect as a domestic large luxury SUV. The 2015 model, of course, is an example of design evolution with a horizontal front grille and other visual updates. But take a look at the profile and there isn't much different from the first generation of the vehicle rolled out as a 1998 model. The latest version is, of course, buffed up with optional 22-inch wheels and some very striking rims straight from the factory. A few enthusiasts may want to switch them out for something fancier. What we've come to appreciate is that while it is a limousine level offering, the Navigator can also handle its business in off-road settings thanks to a 4x4 drivetrain configuration that doesn't get in the way of the luxury ride experience. The test model, which tipped the scales at more than 6,000 pounds, comes with plenty of performance. Staying with a successful platform, the engine is the proven 3.5 liter EcoPoost V6 engine. The official numbers on the power plant are 380 horsepower and 460 foot-pounds of torque. The six-speed automatic transmission mates up well and delivers a fairly respectable fuel economy rating. With that much power, the Navigator can also tow more than 8,000 pounds in a 4x4 setup. The driver and passenger experience is where the Navigator has to match up with competitors. Space and comfort are not an issue for front or second row passengers, while the third row may seem a little cramped. Along with the rest of the industry, the center stack has become a near seamless experience with most functions controlled via touchscreen. Just remember to keep your fingertips clean before using it. But if there is a shortcoming, it might be in the technology that has nearly become passe. It's time for Ford engineers to do some serious upgrading of the sync platform and other interfaces that luxury buyers expect as a matter of course. Since Lincoln is repositioning itself as an exclusive automotive experience, the product will need to match the expectations set by the marketing. This is Greg Morris. We want to know what you think, so email us. The address is bumper to bumper TV at cs.com.